Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the new visa regulations in Thailand. Thailand is one of my favorite countries, but it was rather difficult to get a residence permit for most people in the country. These new visa regulations are, in my opinion, a game changer. And in this video, we will discuss how you can benefit from them. And before we start the usual talk, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, Hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, the link is in the description. And let's start! Let's start talking about the previous visa and residence permit situation in Thailand. Until recently, most tourists could only stay in Thailand for up to 30 days without a visa, with the option to extend their stay for another 30 days by renewing their visa within the country. For those wishing to stay longer, the only alternatives were periodic border runs to neighboring countries or applying for more specific visas. This situation made it challenging for anyone looking to spend extended periods in Thailand. While retirees enjoyed favorable conditions with retirement visas, other groups, such as investors and remote workers, faced limited and often costly options. One notable option was the Thailand Elite Visa, which required a significant financial investment, making it less appealing compared to cheaper destinations offering easier residency permits. However, 2024 has brought a significant shift. Thailand's new visa regulations have made it considerably easier for people, especially those with income from outside the country, to stay longer. These changes have simplified the process and reduced the financial burden, making Thailand a more attractive destination for long-term stays. This new approach not only boosts tourism, but also opens doors for investors and remote workers who previously found the requirements too stringent or expensive. Join us as we delve deeper into these new regulations and what they mean for your plans to live, work, or invest in Thailand. The first thing that got significantly easier for citizens of numerous countries are the short-term visa free stays. Short-term visas in Thailand have become significantly more accessible in 2024. Previously, only citizens from 57 countries could enter Thailand visa free. Now Thailand has expanded its visa waiver list to include 93 countries, making it easier for more travelers to visit. This substantial increase in eligible countries opens up Thailand to a broader range of visitors, including those prospecting Thailand as a long-term base. Another great improvement is the extension of the stay period for visa-exempt visitors. Instead of the previous 30-day limit per entry, visitors from the newly expanded list of 93 countries can now stay in Thailand for up to 60 days without needing to renew their visa. This change eliminates the need for stressful and inconvenient visa runs, allowing travelers to enjoy their time in Thailand without the constant worry of visa expiration. This move not only enhances the travel experience, but also encourages longer stays, benefiting both tourists and the local tourism industry. Now let's talk about the new visa option, which I consider to be a game changer. The new destination Thailand visa, or DTV, Launched on June 1st is a game changer for remote workers. This visa allows remote workers to stay in Thailand for up to five years, offering an unprecedented level of stability and convenience. Unlike previous visa options that had high income requirements, the DTV has much lower financial barriers, making it more accessible to a broader range of digital nomads. This new visa addresses a significant gap that previously forced remote workers to look for residency options in other countries due to the lack of financially viable strategies to stay longer than a couple of months per year in Thailand. With the DTV, visitors can stay in Thailand for up to 180 days per entry over five years, providing ample opportunity to immerse themselves in Thai culture and lifestyle without the constant need for visa renewals. The financial requirements for the DTV are also notably lower than previous options, with applicants needing to show a bank balance of 500,000 Thai baht, or just under 14,000 US dollars. This is a substantial reduction compared to other Thai visa options, and is more affordable than similar visas in neighboring countries like Malaysia. Only Cambodia offers a cheaper visa with lower financial requirements, making the DTV one of the most cost-effective options in the region for remote workers. For more information on the visa landscape in Cambodia, be sure to watch our recently made video about it. It is important to mention that this visa will apparently not allow visitors to stay more than six months per year in Thailand. In a way, this is positive, as the holders of this permit will not have to pay any income tax in Thailand. On the other hand, it might not suit those who are planning to move to Thailand and stay year-round. A 
Apart from the significant changes to tourist and remote worker visas, Thailand has also eased and improved conditions for student visas and retiree visas. For students, the application process has been streamlined and students can stay up to one year after their studies are over to look for a job. Retirees, on the other hand, now benefit from lower insurance requirements, making Thailand an even more attractive destination for those looking to enjoy their golden years in a beautiful and affordable setting. These improvements further enhance Thailand's appeal as a welcoming and accessible destination for people from all walks of life. To conclude, let's discuss why Thailand is easing restrictions on foreign visitors. Tourism accounts for around 18% of Thailand's GDP, making it a critical source of income for many Thai businesses. While the Thai economy is growing, it hasn't been at particularly spectacular rates. Coupled with a growing demographic crisis, the economic outlook has been less than ideal. The Thai government has recognized that allowing more foreigners to stay longer in the country can help address these demographic challenges while simultaneously boosting the nation's economy. By making Thailand more accessible and attractive to tourists, remote workers, students and retirees, the government is taking proactive steps to ensure a more stable and prosperous future. What do you think about these new visa regulations? Do you plan to take advantage of them? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates and information on living and traveling in Thailand. Thank you for watching and see you next time.